So I'm in the gaming mode in the Razer Hammerhead earphones by triple tapping and then holding on the last tap and then uh, at the moment it just went normal mode as I switched it back onto normal mode. I believe has a little bit higher latency uh, than the gaming mode. Yeah, that is actually noticeably higher latency. Uh, so what I can do is triple tap and hold on the last one again. It's the same thing and that enables gaming mode and straight away you notice that gaming mode has been enabled and that sound does actually now sound like instant instead of there being an actual delay with your sound which is not something you want when playing games like Counter-Strike obviously. And uh, you may have noticed that in game uh, whenever I do like these montages and stuff you can probably see my head looking there or there uh, as this is an ultra wide monitor and I'm sitting quite close to it so in order for me to actually like I guess look at the minimap or look at the scoreboard or like you know what's going on in terms of like who's getting kills I have to like turn my head to the corners of the screen because th this is a 35 inch ultra ride so <laughs> it's, it's pretty damn big man this is horrible oh wow we actually picked up both kills there lovely Ooh. oh my lord what's happened hello i think my game crashed no, i guess that'll be it for my my gaming sesh with these but yeah for gaming like these are actually really good earphones like surprisingly enough even though they use bluetooth uh they have actually been able to drop down the latency to the point where playing games like counter-strike is possible and and you don't necessarily notice any kind of sound latency the one problem with these earphones though when it comes to gaming is these only have a battery life of around three hours on a single charge so you would essentially probably have to keep charging them over and over again, especially when being at your PC for longer periods of time than just three hours at a time. So if Razer ever make a Razer Pods version two or the Razer Hammerhead true wireless, but version two, I really do hope battery technology would have evolved and that Razer actually chooses to use a slightly bigger batteries inside of these or more efficient batteries just so that the battery life on these isn't just three hours on a single charge as there are so many true wireless earphones very similar to these for a ridiculously low price and they have much better battery life than these. For example, not too long ago, I checked out these earphones right here. I've made a dedicated video all about these true wireless earbuds on my channel already and they only cost $40 and when I first got the item, I really wasn't expecting to be kind of blown away by quality or you know the actual performance of the earbuds but for $40 man I was very impressed with these Nex Audio uh, I think they were called the Q70 Pro I'm pretty sure that's the model they were really good like the sound quality was amazing the sound isolation was really solid everything about them including their battery life which by the way was seven hours on a single charge for $40 earbuds that are very similar to these was like wow like that's really good battery life but when it comes to the razor pods right here you know you're looking at a hundred pound or a hundred dollars to buy these and you only get around three hours on a single charge a much more pricier product and i really would expect a bit more battery life these style of earbuds have been around for a while so i'm sure they could have packed a bit more battery life in here but they do sound pretty damn good and when comparing these to the $40 earbuds that I talked about earlier. These for gaming are absolutely perfect. Like they're really good for gaming. Um, I wouldn't maybe go as far to say as I would use them in like a professional tournament, but for your normal competitive matches and stuff, I really do think these are more than fine in terms of latency uh, when using them in gaming mode. When you don't have the gaming mode enabled, uh, there is a noticeable delay in sound and something just kind of feels a bit off when you're playing the game. So switching these into gaming mode is almost a must especially when like doing stuff on the PC. When watching videos with these, for example, on your phone, um, there's no real latency at all. Everything seems like uh, pretty quick. Uh, however, on the PC, when you're playing games like Counter-Strike, make sure you use gaming mode. And getting back to the $40 earbuds with those, I tried a game with those as well to kind of make it like a fair comparison almost. And uh, gaming with the $40, you know, very similar earbuds to these, was absolutely impossible even in their normal mode I, they didn't even have a gaming mode because they're not really made for gaming so in those earbuds like normal mode which is their only mode i tried to play counter strike and the latency was unbelievable 
way, way worse than these, even in their normal mode. These Razer Pods do use some impressive technology to make them quite responsive in terms of like very low latency, transmitting all the sound and all, and even pairing them to your phone. Like from the moment you put these earbuds back inside of their case, these will disconnect from your PC or your phone immediately. And from the moment you open the case and put this inside of your ear, power on it just said, Bluetooth connected, it's already paired to the PC and the music is already playing in the earbuds. Like they're really, really quick to connect to your PC and your phone is just as fast, honestly. It's really quite impressive. And when you pop them back in the case, watch how quickly they disconnect on your PC as well. So boom, disconnected, they're no longer playing on here. And instead, the music is just playing on my regular headphones, which are right here. So the Razer Hammerhead True Wireless Earbuds right here really do impress me in terms of their speed and all. And the product itself does feel relatively high quality. Uh, the charging case features a USB Type-C charging port. No wireless charging for the case, unfortunately. Would have been nice to see as Razer do make their own wireless charging pad that you can buy on their website. Bear in mind though that that charging pad will cost you £100 but it's still pretty cool and it would have been nice to use that charging pad as I do happen to own one with a wireless charging case for the Razer Pods right here. Perhaps Razer in the future will kind of release or do like a similar thing to what Apple did and release more of like a version 1.5 Razer Pods update with this time a wireless charging case and maybe better battery life on the earbuds themselves. But in terms of their design and all, I really do quite like it. It looks very modern. I do like their little Razer logo there, integrated inside of the earbuds of course, and they feel relatively good in my ear as well. And uh, not only that, but for music, these genuinely are very, very similar to uh, AirPods. They sound quite similar to them, but then again, these are using Razer's custom tuned 13 millimeter drivers inside here, and they do really quite sound well. I do wish the bass was a little bit better, but in this form factor, they are still very impressive, and the sound quality on here will definitely not disappoint you. Taking a look at the charging case that these come with, the entire thing is made out of like some high quality plastic. However, I would have liked to seen this entire thing be made out of aluminium with a bit more weight and it would feel a bit more sturdy, but unfortunately they've gone with kind of like this lightweight case uh, that, you know, is lightweight. And by the way, th this little attachment uh, came with it as well, which makes this case a lot easier to carry around, at least for me. But uh, this is completely optional. If you don't want this little string attached, you can remove it. But when you open the case, you are greeted with another Razer logo up there. There is also one on the outside of the case there. Very subtle and modern logos in my opinion, nothing quite like in your face. And then you pop the earbuds in just like this. However, I'm really not the biggest fan of this style case. I feel like Razer have done a pretty good job at the way they've actually laid everything out. However, whilst me and a couple of my friends have been testing these earbuds out, we have both found the exact same problem with these, and that is putting the earbuds back inside here and actually, you know, closing the case properly. Because if you put them on uh, the other way around, for example, we'll put that earbud in here and that earbud in here, the case doesn't fully close. As you can see, it's still a little bit open there. And on top of that, your earbuds won't actually charge, which obviously is a problem. And they kind of just look janky if you kind of, you know, put them in the wrong slots. In terms of like noise isolation, they do come with some silicon tips that are once again completely optional. If you don't want any silicon tips on your Razer Pods, you don't have to have them, but they do come with some silicon tips in case you want some better like sound isolation. In my experience, whilst I was trying to use them with the included silicon tips, I didn't quite like the feeling of the like, bigger earbud in general inside of my ear. Uh, not only did it make it very difficult for me to get the earbuds inside of my ear, because they were just a lot thicker in general, once they were eventually inside of my ear, I really didn't like the way they felt. So I'm using them without these silicon earbuds, but for other people that I guess have different shaped ears to mine, perhaps these silicon earbuds will work better for you. And I think I forgot to mention earlier, but the charging case can charge the Razer Pods like three, four, maybe five times. Uh, so yeah. In terms of the battery life of the case, the case will give your earbuds an extra 12 hours of battery. Once you pop them inside here, you can charge them like three or four more times, which is great. The Bluetooth range on these as well, as this is using Bluetooth 5.0, is around 10 meters or 33 feet. One feature I would have liked to see is these being integrated into Razer Synapse 3 to possibly adjust the equalizer settings and stuff and maybe like add some extra sound profiles or just make these earbuds a little bit more customizable. So I would have really have liked to seen some kind of integration Perhaps when you plug the Type-C case into your PC, it adds it onto Razer Synapse 3. I feel like that would have been something nice to see from Razer, or at least the app to have been a lot more customizable. But unfortunately, these don't work with Razer Synapse in any way whatsoever. One of my favorite features about the Razer Pods 
was this. So once they're inside of your urinal, they do come with some touch controls that in my opinion are really quite impressive. I'm gonna open up Spotify right here on my domain window and uh, what you can do to actually resume music playing on your PC or on your phone, this works the exactly same way, uh, but you can simply press and hold for about half a second to play pause, this works on either earbud as you can see right there. When it comes to playing or pausing songs using these earbuds, it's really straightforward and really simple as well. The double tap function on both of these earbuds will do the exact same thing, no matter which one you press. So if we do a double tap on the right one, for example, boom, we're gonna go forward a song, so next track. And if we do another double tap with this one, you'll see we will go forward a song still. When it comes to going back a track or pressing a previous track, you will do a triple tap. So this will restart the song, and now we will go back. The same will work on the left earbud as well. So boom, that's the start of the song, and now I've gone back, and do that again, and just keep going back songs. One feature I would have liked to have seen with these Razer Pods is an ability to increase and decrease volume using some kind of touch control, perhaps like a gesture going up or down. Something would have been nice to see to be able to increase or decrease volume. Okay, I've disconnected from the PC. I'm gonna to connect to the uh, AirPods right now with my phone instead and straight away they've connected. So as you saw there, not only do the earbuds pair to your phone very quickly, but they also can switch devices from your PC to let's say a mobile device instead very, very quickly. Like that, it took me like less than five seconds in total. Like it was really quick. So in order to activate Siri on my phone, all I would have to do is just press and hold. And boom, we got Siri. Hello Siri, what's up? But apart from that guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you'd like to go buy one of the Razer Pods or perhaps some Tech Block merchandise, maybe grab yourself an RGB Tech Block mug right here. A shout out to Reese, by the way, for picking up a Tech Block hoodie and mug. It's looking dope, dude. So yeah, links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.